Over the next few minutes, ICON will take you through the installation of our slide rail trench shoring system from start to finish. In this example, the contractor has rented a three-bay slide rail trench shoring system comprised of 20.5-foot plates, 18-foot rails, and 8-foot wide bracing for 20-foot deep trench excavation. Organize the job site and stack the equipment neatly for fast and easy access. Next. Start assembling the 18-foot rails and braces to form complete rail pairs. Continue to mark out your pilot excavation based on the outside dimensions of the shoring provided. Start digging out the pilot excavation area to a depth of no more than 3 to 4 feet, depending on the stability of your soil. Try to keep straight sidewalls if possible. Next, place the first slide rail base plate inside the pilot excavation with the knife edge facing in. Please make sure the panel is secure and then lower the first rail pair into place using the back channel of the rail to interlock with the base plate. Then lower the second base plate into the rail on the opposite side, followed by another rail pair to complete. Measurement and adjustments are to be expected to ensure a square and centered installation. Double check this by making a second measurement from rail to rail in each direction in the shape of an X. The difference in the two measurements will tell you how square you are and if adjustments may be needed. When ready, start excavating on the inside of the shoring system, clearing the soil in no more than two foot increments. You will then use the excavator bucket to push and advance the plates down first, and then the rail pair. This process will keep your channels clean from soil, debris, and will ensure the rails of your system do not twist during the installation. When a depth of 8 feet is reached, you will start installing the rest of the slide rail base plates in the front channel of the rail. Installation of slide rail plates in both channels early during the installation process will also help prevent twisting of the system as you go deeper. Next, you can backfill any voids left behind the system. Continue digging and pushing the inside plates and rail pair assemblies down to a depth of 16 feet. Digging will continue on the inside of the trench another two feet. Now place the steel H brackets on the tops of the base plates and then install the four foot high slide rail extension plates into the back track of the rails, carefully lowering onto the steel H brackets and pin in place. At this point, all that is left is to continue digging and pushing the system to the desired depth, starting with the plates in the outside track advancing to grade, and then advancing the plates on the inside track all the way to the final subgrade. Now the contractor has finished the successful installation of the first bay. It is now time to install the second and third bays of the system. This is accomplished by repeating the same dig and push process. To secure the top of the trench, ICON has developed a pre-engineered steel guard rail post system that can be lowered and secured to the top of our slide rail panels while the contractor secures the railings with wood. With the installation of the slide rail trench system complete, the contractor can perform his work in record time 
and much faster than conventional driven methods.